hello friends say welcome you in lecture number 3 on relations in this lecture we are going to discuss properties of relations or properties of binary relations uh, we must be familiar with properties of relations so that we can classify the relations using those properties so from this lecture onwards we are going to discuss properties of relations one by one first one is reflexive relation when a relation is said to be reflexive so for that suppose we consider any set a then we know that relation is a subset of a cross a this relation r on a set a is called reflexive if a comma a belongs to r for every a in a given set capital a in other words a is related to itself for every element of a given set if every element of a given set is related to itself by the relation r then r is called reflexive relation so this is the definition of reflexive relation a relation or binary relation r on a set a is called reflexive if a comma a that is order pair a a belongs to r for every element a in a set capital a in other words a relation r on a set a is called reflexive if every element is related to itself of given set that is a is related to a for every element a in a given set capital a so here i have taken one set having four integers 1 2 3 4 and, and uh, there are several relations on this set and we have to check whether they are reflexive or not so suppose we denote given set by capital a that is a equal to 1 2 3 and 4 so this relation first relation is r1 given by all these ordered pairs so we have to check whether r1 is reflexive on this set a or not so as we know r1 is reflexive if a comma a belongs to r1 for all a in capital a now in our set there are four elements so if i take first element then 1 1 must be in r1 so that is in r1 similarly 2 2 must be in r1 that is also present then 3 3 must be in r1 but we can see there is no element 3 3 in r1 so if r1 is reflexive then we must have a comma a belongs to r1 for every a belongs to capital a and here we find that 3 is in capital a but 3 3 is not in r1 therefore r1 is not reflexive so we can write that for three element of a given set 3 comma 3 is not in r1 and therefore r1 is not reflexive relation or r1 is not reflexive there is another relation given by r2 equal to 1 1 1 2 2 1 so here we can see there is only one element 1 1 present in r2 2 2 3 3 4 4 4 r not present we can write for at least one element we can say that for 3 belongs to a 3 3 3 is not in r2 therefore r2 is not reflexive if r2 is reflexive then we must have 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 in r2 but here r2 is not reflexive so to prove that r2 is not reflexive we have to show the existence of at least one element in a given set such that order pair corresponding to that element is absent in given relation r3 is having 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 4 4 all the elements of this form are in r3 okay here it is 
clear that 1 1 belongs to R3 2 2 belongs to R3 3 3 belongs to R3 and 4 4 is also in R3 so therefore we can say that order pair A comma A belongs to R3 for all A in given set A which is nothing but 1 2 3 and 4 therefore this relation is reflexive R3 is reflexive relation R4 is given by this uh, set of ordered pairs and here we can see 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 all are absent in R4 so we can write that 1 1 is not in R4 for 1 belongs to A therefore R4 is not reflexive in R5 we have 1 1 2 2 3 3 and 4 4 so here we have to write exactly in this manner yeah. as I have written for R3 same thing we have to write for R5 also 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 all are present in R5 that is order pair A comma A belongs to R5 for all A in a given set capital A therefore R5 is reflexive last relation is R6 having only one order pair 3 4 so this is clear we can write for any order pair having same elements 3 comma 3 is not in R6 for 3 belongs to A therefore R6 is also not reflexive so it is very easy to check whether given relation is reflexive on a given set we just have to check that this type of elements this type of elements are called diagonal elements are present in a given relation for all elements small a in capital A if this happens then R is called reflexive now here I have taken relation on a finite set and therefore uh, I have finite number of relations on in the given I have finite number of elements in the given relations but suppose our set is infinite then how to write that relation is reflexive or not reflexive for example if we consider the relation less than or equal to on the set of real numbers then it is reflexive uh, this we can write mathematically as uh, we are considering less than or equal to relation so we consider all ordered pairs a b where a and b are elements of real number set and we are considering less than or equal to relation that is a is less than or equal to b now if i want to prove that this is reflexive then i have to show that a comma a belongs to r for every a in the set of real numbers so that is clear uh, we can write that clearly we know that for any real number we can write this a is less than or equal to a this is true for every a in the set of real numbers this means order pair a a belongs to r for every a in the set of real numbers and this means relation R is reflexive on the set of real numbers and be careful about this notations this notation is for the set of real numbers and this R is for a given relation relation is denoted by capital R and for number set we are writing this type of uh, bold side here or we can write in this way so this is the set of real numbers so less than or equal to relation is reflexive on the set of real numbers but suppose we consider instead of less than or equal to relation suppose we consider strictly less than relation or strictly greater than relation then it will not be reflexive 
suppose i consider less than relation on the set of real numbers then it is not reflexive because uh, we cannot say that 2 comma 2 is in r because 2 cannot be less than 2 first we have to write what is given relation given relation can be written as set of all order pairs a b where a and b are real numbers and a is strictly less than b and uh, here uh, we can uh, write that uh, if we consider 2 comma 3 so this 2 comma 3 belongs to r this type of elements are in capital r 2 comma 3 belongs to r because 2 is less than 3 but we have to check whether r is reflexive or not that means we have to prove that order pair a a belongs to r for every a in a given set a which is nothing but set of real numbers so this is true if a is less than a for every a in the set of real numbers but we know that this is not correct so we can write that we can write by taking particular element suppose i consider real number 2 for 2 belongs to r uh, we can say that 2 is not less than 2 this means because 2 is not less than 2 2 comma 2 is not present in r so this shows that for 2 belongs to r 2 is not related to 2 for reflexive relation every element must be related to itself but here 2 comma 2 is not in r for 2 belongs to r therefore this relation r which is less than relation is not reflexive if it is reflexive then a comma a belongs to r for every a in the set of real numbers but we have written that for 2 belongs to r 2 comma 2 is not in r therefore r cannot be reflexive similarly greater than relation on this set of real numbers is also not reflexive if we consider greater than relation then here this i have to replace by a greater than b and this i have to replace by 2 cannot be greater than 2 therefore 2 2 cannot be in r what about equality relation on this set of real numbers so this relation is defined as order pair a b such that a b belongs to r and a equal to b and uh, we can denote relation by this notation also but suppose we consider this notation this is the equality relation on the set of real numbers so this is clear that a comma a belongs to r for every a in this set of real numbers because these two are equal so that means a is related to a for every a in this set of real numbers therefore this is an example of reflexive relation on this set of real numbers so in this way we can easily check whether given relation is reflexive or not uh, we uh, we can prove that relation is reflexive by proving that a comma a is present in r for every element of a given set if this condition is satisfied then r is reflexive and to prove that r is not reflexive you have to prove that a comma a is not in r for at least one or for some element a in a given set if this happens then r is not reflexive and r is reflexive if order pair a a belongs to r for every a in the given set